Ever notice how you can tell where a sound is coming from, even with your eyes closed? This amazing ability is called sound localization. And your brain does this fancy trick using several sophisticated mechanisms. Today, we're going to study one of these using Fourier sensors. In order to understand how this works, we're going to need a model of a human head, complete with two ears. Not me, our buddy here. Now this model looks great, but a simple shoebox with two holes on the sides would do just fine. The inside of the head needs to be filled with a material like cotton to insulate the sound and prevent it from traveling in one ear and out the other, literally. Now we're ready for the high-tech stuff. Make sure you have a Novalink data logger and multi-lab software, two sound sensors, a sound producing device, this can be a small speaker or a cell phone playing a constant sound. Now, connect the sensors to the Novalink and in multi-lab set the sampling rate to 100 samples per second. Now set the number of samples to 6,000, which will give you a minute of sampling. When you program the sensors, make sure that both axes are showing on the same scale. For each sensor, set the minimum value to 20 decibels and the maximum value to 60 decibels. This will make sure the graphs are easy to read later. Now, we are going to move the sound source around our model while measuring the sound with our sensors. When we take these measurements, it's very important to be as quiet as possible. So let's start measuring. Now let's stop recording and see what we got. The graph shows that both sensors measured a pattern of alternating intensities. How does this relate to sound localization? Well, the closer you are to a sound, the louder it gets. In our experiment, as we move the sound around the head, the sound gets alternately closer and farther from each ear. Based on different intensities, we can deduce the location of the sound source. On the other hand, when the intensity is equal for both sensors, we can assume that the sound source is equidistant from them. The difference in sound intensity measured by your two ears is only one of several clues your brain uses to localize sound. Did you hear that? It's incredible!